for joining us today on Around the Peninsula. I'm Maria Soreo. We are here tonight at Trump National Golf Club for the big event, Citizen of the Year and Salute to Business. Now, these events are sponsored by the Palos Verdes Peninsula Chamber of Commerce. And for more on this big event, the president of the chamber, Miss Eileen Hupp. We are now here with the president and CEO of the Palos Verdes Peninsula Chamber of Commerce and my good friend Eileen Hupp. Eileen, this is the night, the big event, Citizen of the Year and Salute to Business. I know you worked so hard all year. We did the videos this year. We met all of the honorees. And now this is the night. Tell us what takes place tonight. Oh my gosh, well first of all, we are so excited and thank you for being here to cover this event. We are sold out, so we are over the top excited. So what we do tonight is we actually tell the stories of each of our honorees um, using the wonderful videos that you that you put together. And in their own words, they talk about um, their business and their inspiration and how they got started and maybe how they pivoted during the pandemic, whatever it might be. We have trophies for them. We have certificates of commendation from our local cities, um, from our uh, LA County Supervisor, our Senate, our Assembly, and all the way to the US House of Representatives, our congressmen. So it's a very exciting evening. And um, all the chamber members and businesses and elected officials and the community leaders come together to really celebrate um, you know, another year as well as um, these outstanding businesses that we have here on the peninsula. You know, this award means so much to everybody. I know a lot of the former past winners are also here tonight, too. Yes, absolutely. And we actually recognize them all. If you're a former winner and you're here, we have you stand up. And what I think is kind of fun is that we have former honorees present the awards. So it's really meaningful. If you're this year's Nonprofit of the Year Award, it's really nice to receive that award personally from the from the nonprofit that won it the prior year. So it's just, we work very hard, as you said, to make it really special um, for all of these businesses that are honored. You know, and I think it means a lot to each person in business because they don't do things to be awarded or recognized, but it is such a nice thing to be recognized and that other people see it and it's really wonderful what the chamber does. No, thank you so much. And you're absolutely right. And you'll hear that from all of them. They're they're just making a living and running their business and trying to be good citizens and um, connect with other businesses and support the community. And you'll certainly hear that over over and over again from our fabulous citizen of the year, Julia Parton, because she absolutely doesn't do this for recognition. She right. wants to serve the community. Um, and I think, again, what makes this special is that these businesses, as you know, were selected by fellow chamber members. So they're nominated by and then selected by their peers. And I think that is a special touch um, that makes the awards even more meaningful to the people who are selected. And I know this is such a big event. Eileen hasn't slept in, I don't know, like two, three weeks maybe. So you just really knock it out of the park every year. Eileen. Well, thank you so much. We have an amazing staff at the chamber. Um, we're a small but mighty staff, so we couldn't do it without them. And then, um, of course, our wonderful volunteers and board of directors and chamber members across the board who jump in to help us. Very good. Well, thank you for spending some time with us. Have a fabulous evening, and uh, we'll see you inside. Thank you, Maria. We're so honored to host this event. You know, it brings the community together. It brings these amazing people of the community together and businesses together that we all get to see each other, sometimes for the first time, sometimes for many times. Um, but we are just so honored to host it. It's one of my favorite events throughout the year. I have two major events that I love, and this is one of them. Uh, but it's great to see familiar faces and new faces and welcome the new businesses to the community as well. So it's, it's, it's a win-win all around. It is, and what you were just saying about seeing faces, people that you remember, so many past winners all come to this. Always, and they come every single year. So, I mean, they, because they understand the importance of it. You know, the, the achievement of these businesses, the achievement of these amazing people, Citizen of the Year. Um, so I think that it shows the support, true support of community at the end of the day. So that's always something I'm for. You know, it brings back so many happy memories. Les and I were Citizens of the Year in 2014. And it was just exciting to be named. This is something that you don't pay for or ask for. And so it was a surprise. And we still are feeling the glow of it. And we love the chamber. And so anyway, it's a lot, it's like a little family reunion with everybody. I didn't think of it like that, but it must be because so many, everybody comes every year because this is so much fun on top of it. Yeah, and on top of that, Julia Parton is a good friend and she's in our rotary group, so we have a couple tables of rotary. So it's just a community love fest. It's a lot of fun, we love it. You know, I've, I've always said, um, 
when businesses thrive, the city thrives. And so um, businesses, local businesses are the foundation to uh, a city. And it's very important that we encourage our community to support our local businesses so that when they thrive, um, the city thrives, the residents benefit from it, and, and it also enables or encourages new businesses to come to uh, the city and to the peninsula. This is such an important event, especially with Citizen of the Year, to really feature people in our community that just go out of their way to do for others. Yeah, I, I, I completely agree. I think uh, every year we have this salute to the businesses and, and I, I'm always so happy to see when our locals, our, our, our businesses are being uh, recognized for their contributions. You know, with uh, Citizen of the Year, Julia Parton, she's homegrown. This is her community. Um, it, it's about time, you know, it's good that she's getting recognized. And then Green Hills as well. I mean, they've been such great partners uh, with the city and, and I appreciate their whole team and working with them very closely. I'm so honored to be here to sell, uh, to recognize them. Well, after the COVID, I think that um, we all want to just support our local business as much as we can. I, I know our city, you know, having uh, the major commercial area at the top of the hill, we really just encourage people to shop local. And of course, this is a big celebration of uh, surviving and everyone doing well. And I'm excited to uh, be here to support Julia Parton as a citizen of the year. So that's very exciting. She does so many great things for our community. And it was so fun to sit down and talk to her about everything. And she doesn't do it for an award, but how nice it is to recognize people that give back. Well, and of course, our city has the holiday parade coming up on December 2. I hope everyone will be there. And Julia, of course, will be the Grand Marshal. Interestingly, Rolling Hills doesn't have any business within our city limits, but I personally and many of the members of our community are big supporters of the Chamber and the events and the organizations that they support. So it's just important to show support for the community in general. Well, I think the business in the community, especially in PV Estates, we unfortunately don't have much. But I think the business is so important to the economic survival of the, the peninsula and wide. And I fully support it. I, my career was spent in downtown Los Angeles. And uh, since I retired, I've become more involved in the local. But we could use more business out here. I would agree. Our chamber is a catalyst for business growth a convener of leaders and influencers, and a champion for a strong community. You will see all three of these core competencies at work here this evening. I'm Scott Houston. I'm the president of the West Bay Municipal Water District Board, and uh, Director Harold Williams represents your area. Most of you are familiar with him. He could not be here tonight, but I'm very happy to be here as a South Bay resident and also the president of our board. And uh, just want to say congratulations to all those who are being honored tonight. Um, personal personal affiliations. I have to say the El Camino College is wonderful. We've worked with them for years. Love El Camino. Uh, Boys and Girls Club. Who cannot love the Boys and Girls Clubs around Los Angeles? And by the way, just so you know, West Basin goes all the way up to Malibu, and so the Boys and Girls Club of Malibu is also a great partner with us. And uh, I'm not leaving anyone out, but I also, you know, my, my personal affiliation here with Julia Parton. She's wonderful. And Malaga Bank. Malaga Bank is a great community banking partner with the West Basin Municipal Water District. So congratulations to everyone who's being honored tonight. It's my honor to be here in support of you all. Thank you. Sure. Absolutely. Well, first and foremost, I think we all need to give a, a non-chamber uh, applause to Eileen for putting together such an amazing evening. That's what I like to hear. And thank you. Uh, I, I'm here as city manager for Rancho Palos Verdes on behalf of our city council. They are. They extend their congratulations to all the the um, recipients this evening, and they couldn't be here. And I know each one of them wanted to be here uh, personally. They love this event. They love the chamber, and they love everything about our community. And I want to take this moment to just thank and, and acknowledge all the recipients for all the, the 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 service you give to our community. You make our community great. Uh, we support our business.
campuses and, and I'm so very proud to be standing here and being part of this evening and especially for our homegrown recipients. I know Julia Parton, I'm so proud of you. Uh, it's about time and you, you deserve all this stuff. You do great things for the city of Rancho Palos Verdes and the entire peninsula. So congratulations, congratulations to the, the Boys and Girls Club and to El Camino, El Camino College and of course Green Hills our, our, one of our businesses in Rancho Palos Verdes, congratulations to you. Thank you for all the great stuff that you do in the partnership. And what a wonderful evening. So thank you. Thank you. Wonderful to be here this evening. As I was saying to Eileen earlier in the evening, Oh, when you look around, just so many friends uh, that we've developed over the years through the chamber, and it just feels like old home week to, to be here each time for this wonderful celebration. And so I do extend from my city of Rolling Hills Estates, uh, congratulations to all of the recipients. And we are so excited, especially to honor Julia Parton this evening. And um, as you all know, the uh, Citizen of the Year is also the, um, the, uh, the Grand Marshal of our city's Rolling Hills Estates, which is really the Peninsula Parade, which is um, the first Saturday of December. So we hope to have you all there to help Julia celebrate as she does the Queen's Way down, <laughs> down Silver Spur. So wonderful to be with you and to all of you, uh, the recipients, congratulations. Good evening, everyone. My name is Pat Wilson. I'm mayor of the city of Rolling Hills, at least for, oh, thank you. Thanks, mom. At least for a couple more weeks. We'll be doing our rotation uh, uh, about the middle of next month. But I wanted to um, let you all know how, how happy I am to be here tonight, to be invited, and to uh, address you. As many of you probably know, we don't have a lot of business in Rolling Hills. So, but we have a lot of business supporters and business patrons, so certainly I uh, support the chamber and, and many of our um, residents, uh, council, uh, staff members also do uh, as well. So I wanted to thank the, uh, the recipients tonight for their, their dedication and you know, all the service that they provided for the community. I have to say, I have a special place in my heart for the Boys and Girls Club. Right on cue. I'm a, a current board member, former uh, board chair, so I have a lot of involvement with that organization, and also others that, that are being honored tonight and appreciate all the service that you do for the community. So thank you very much. I'm David McGowan. I'm one of the council members, former mayor of Palos Verde Estates, and I'm here on the behalf of uh, Jim Roos on one, uh, wearing one hat, which I'll get to in a moment. But uh, I want to congratulate, on behalf of our city, all the recipients. Uh, again, we're very similar to Rolling Hills, where we don't have a lot of businesses other than Malaga Bank, which is our premier business, uh, at least the largest employer in the uh, area. And uh, we really want to extend a personal congratulations to all the recipients this evening. We are proud of what, being partners with you and want to continue that relationship. But as I take my city hat off, I want to put on a, a different hat, and that's the foundation hat. And uh, I want to recognize Julia because she is not only an awesome person and board member of the foundation, Palos Verde Estates Foundation, and her family is all here tonight, and I want to congratulate not only Julia, but her family for supporting all the efforts that this woman does for our peninsula. Congrats. Thank you. The Chamber's mission is to build a strong local economy, to provide resources and networking connections um, for our businesses, to serve as the voice of business with government, and to promote the community. We are a 501c6 nonprofit membership organization. We are, membership is open to any business regardless of where you're located, um, and so we invite you, if you're not a member, to consider joining us, and I'm happy to have a conversation with you. So the nominations for today's awards were selected by members of the Chamber of Commerce. The salute to business honorees were chosen for outstanding achievement in business. 
having distinguished themselves in such areas as innovation, growth, customer service, economic development impact, community engagement, and involvement in the chamber. Criteria for the nonprofit sector award includes community impact, breadth of services, innovation, and excellence in programming. And I think you'll agree that all of our honorees fit every one of those criteria to the T. Finally, a very special thank you to the City of Rancho Palos Verdes and RPV TV for creating the video interviews that you're going to see this evening. The full length interviews um, with all the honorees are featured on a currently airing episode of Around the Peninsula hosted by Maria Sereo. You can find that on RPV TV's YouTube channel or on channel 33. Be sure to watch channel 33 and RPV TV for all the local news and happenings. So with that, let's get the party started. Here to present the first two Excellence in Business Awards is a 2021 Salute to Business Award winner and also a winner of the prestigious Matt Bruning Business Leadership Award, Robert Medawar. Medawar Fine Jewelers is synonymous with the community, serving the South Bay for 43 years. Aren't you impressed that I knew that, Robert? Like, I, what can I say? Um, anyway, I would like to invite Robert and our first award winner, Sharon Kalani from Green Hills Memorial Park to the stage. In uh, 1948, Robert McNerney purchased 100, no, I'm on the wrong page, am I? You're right. No, you're right. I am right. You're right. 120 acres of empty, hilly land where cows grazed and Western, on Western Avenue. Now, 75 years later, Green Hills continues to honor loved ones of our community and provide a resting place for so many. Built on the core of values of family, integrity, and caring, Green Hills team strive to provide an unparalleled customer service and experience. We also recognize Green Hills for their engagement with the community, their special events such as Let It Snow, the Harvest Festival, and the Memorial Day observance brings the entire community together to celebrate and enjoy life. So Sharon, on behalf of the Palos Verdes Chamber of Commerce and the entire community, please allow us to present you the Excellence in Business Awards. Congratulations. Um, we congratulate all the winners. We're grateful, grateful to be here tonight to accept this award. And we're grateful for the opportunity to serve the community for 75 years in the past and going forward. Green Hills values family, we value integrity and we value compassion. Our appreciation goes to the Palos Verdes Peninsula Chamber of Commerce, but it also goes to all of you because I hope that we have touched your lives in a positive way sometime or will sometime. We accept this award with responsibility to work harder and we also are inspired to continue our mission to celebrate the symphony of life and the cultures of all. Thank you. Our next uh, recipient for the Excellence in Business Award um, is El Camino College. On behalf of my colleagues at El Camino College, I want to thank the Palos Verdes Peninsula Chamber of Commerce for this honor. When I got the call from Eileen, I was just jumping for joy because it's so important for me to see us recognized by those that we serve in our community from El Segundo to Palos Verdes. We're changing the economy of the South Bay and the Los Angeles area for the better. Our, we're so proud that our students' lives are changed by their experience at El Camino College. And with your support today, that even brings our message further home to more people. So I really just want to thank you all, um, and we're very honored to be recognized. Thank you. So first I wanted to say thank you to Eileen for uh, having me up here to, uh, to thank all of you. Um, it's, a lot, it's a lot nicer to be just reading the script than being in his business. <laughs> but I, I, I'm, I'm just very honored still from last year, so I just wanted to say that. Um, so welcome. Um, for over 100 years, Redondo Van and Storage has been serving the South Bay. A lifelong Palos Verdes native, owner and president Greg Halverson has built the company from its humble origins into a local powerhouse by focusing on the utmost service to the customer, a strong team of in-house employees, top-notch equipment and trucks, 
and community engagement. After four decades of steadfast leadership, Greg and Lori's son Ryan has taken on the role of Chief Operating Officer, where he has streamlined operations and expanded the company's footprint and strategic partnerships. With his sights set on the future, Ryan aims to further develop the company's position as a local household brand. As the torch is passed from one generation to the next, the Redondo Van and Storage Team is excited to embark on its next chapter to see where they are in the next 100 years. Well, thank you so much, uh, Kristen and Eileen, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, and all the distinguished guests that we have here from the cities, fellow honorees, and members of our Palos Verdes community, thank you so much for being here this evening to share in the celebration of this recognition. And congratulations to the rest of uh, this year's honorees as well. It's truly with immense gratitude and humility to be selected as one of the four recipients for the Palos Verdes Peninsula Chamber's Excellence in Business Award. And on behalf of the entire company, my heartfelt thank you to the Palos Verdes Chamber and Awards Committee for this incredible recognition. To us, this award represents the company's ongoing commitment to serving the South Bay for the past 104 years. You heard that right, 104 years. And I could not be more humbled to be accepting this award on behalf of Redonda Van and Storage. In many ways, this award is a recognition of the past 45 years that the owner and president, but most importantly, my dad, has invested into the company. It's truly a testament to a lifetime achievement of his efforts and his unwavering commitment and pursuit of excellence to all the company's endeavors. With his recent retirement from the daily operations, I do want to take this moment to ask if he could please stand to be recognized by you all. And, um, <laughs> and uh, congratulations to all of the years. Thank you. <laughs> In more recent years our comp uh, with the company, my mother, Lori and Adomi Halverson and I have become more active in the business. And when I look back on the past few years working in the company full time, I could never have imagined the new heights that we have reached. It's truly been a family affair to get us to this point. And it's not every day that you get to work alongside incredible leaders and immense community supporters who also happen to be my incredible parents. To those of you who are here tonight who have used our services or been referral partners, uh, your business and partnerships have been integral to the success of our company, and your immense trust and confidence inspires us to continually raise the bar and deliver excellence in all that we do. While our dedicated moving team and administrative staff are not here this evening, I have to give them a special shout out for being the backbone of our business. It's through their hard work dedication, enthusiasm, and commitment that propels our business forward. And this award is shared with each and every one of them, and I'm grateful to lead and work alongside an exceptional group of individuals. Lastly, I want to express my gratitude to everyone who's played a role in this journey, from our partners, our clients, friends, and family. Together, we've truly built a thriving business in a very supportive community here in the South Bay. I'm so very honored that Redondo Van and Storage can be recognized for all of these efforts. This award is a shared achievement among so many of you, and I'm very excited to continue the work to be a business of excellence. Thank you so much. So the only reason I have my phone is because I want to get a picture of all of your beautiful faces and, and, and all of you amazing business people, honestly. And so I thought, I, I'm going to take I'm going to use this moment and I'm just going to take a second because it's such a beautiful time. I'm looking at your face and it's making my heart just explode. So anyway, here we go. Everybody say hi. Okay, sorry. Why not? Why not? I'll, I probably will never be up here. Congratulations, Julia. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Sorry. Okay. Okay. I'd like to invite our next honoree, Lauren Perlmutter, to join me on the stage. I met Lauren, I just have to say this, I met Lauren probably 20 years ago when we were both starting, and this was three businesses ago for me. Uh, I, you know, I don't, this is like the fourth one I'm on, but it, this is the right one. But 
she has been steadfast on her journey. And, you know, I just have so much love for her. She's a dear friend and um, a true entrepreneur. Lauren founded her first company, Art to Grow On, in the early 2000s. Starting as a storefront art center, she transformed the business into a mobile model, visiting clients and schools in person. The business grew to serving close to 40 schools and sites. But then in 2020, the pandemic forced Lauren to abruptly shutter her in-person art instruction. In a moment of panic and inspiration, she pivoted quickly to use using an art kit box model that she had developed for pediatric hospital patients. With true entrepreneurial focus, creativity, and hard work, Lauren rebranded as the Art Box Academy, and her success is truly inspirational. So first, I, I want to say how fortunate I feel uh, to say I love what I do. There are a few thoughts that surface when I think of the Art Box Academy's mission supporting and elevating a child's creativity, in addition to giving them opportunities to become optimal thinkers, are truly at the forefront of what we do every single day. This will continue to be our mission, especially in the ever-changing world we're all living in. Whether it is through one of our Van Gogh painting lessons, as mentioned, or 20th century architecture, or one of our favorites, my team's favorite, is skate park design, it is our team who's here with us tonight that makes this evening possible. I want to take an extra moment to thank them. They are all here this evening. So a quick round of applause for them. It, it's their talents and dedication are unparalleled. I also want to thank my dear family, friends, mentors, and colleagues who are also here this evening. I have two very special friends with me that I have known since uh, I am nine, Wendy and Andrea, so very special that you're here. And as I'm speaking, I'm looking out and I see so many of you who, I don't know if you all know that have been involved, but I think with Julia at Malaga Bank when we had the kindness campaign and you hung up several years ago, um, incredible works of art in the banks and the children will never forget going into the bank and seeing their work. We've worked with Providence, Trinity Kids Care, we have Maniachi Family and Insurance Company supporting Torrance Memorial, we have Susie State Farm, who's also my neighbor. We're all neighbors at Academy Center. And many, many more over the years, from Terranea, Palos Verdes Unified, Torrance Unified, Manhattan Beach Unified, LAUSD, and so many more. We're so grateful to partner with you, ensuring together that our communities and the children feel seen and acknowledged, which is even more important today than when we started 20 years ago. Like at the Oscars, it's a moment, I was going to try to thank everyone, and Eileen and I had a conversation that I cannot. <laughs> but, but another special mention, and it's an extra 20 seconds over it, but it's, it's worth it. Um, a special mention and acknowledgement for a very special guest tonight is Mr. Russ Lesser. So many of you know Russ as the former two-term mayor of Manhattan Beach, in addition to being the president of Body Glove International. Russ and I have an incredible uh, friendship, and he's been a business mentor of mine for many years. And Russ, I just want to thank you for your incredible support and guidance over the years, and I'm honored that I can call you such a good friend. Again, to Eileen and the amazing chamber staff, thank you to you all. And I just want to leave you with two of my favorite quotes. One of my absolute favorites is by Henry Matisse, and it's only three words. Creativity takes courage. And that really has resonated with me um, probably since I was in art school in my 20s. And last, by Aristotle, the aim of art is to represent not the outward appearance of things, but their inward significance. So thank you again to all of you. Okay. Thank you and good evening, everyone. It's quite an honor to be here tonight again, and also quite an honor to say hello to all of you as we walked in to check you in and to meet all of you and then get to learn more about you throughout the presentation tonight. So it's quite an honor to be here. Thank you. Um, okay, let's begin. Jessica Fang and David Lin founded The Forefront Media, 
on the idea of using stunning visuals and powerful storytelling skills to capture the essence of their clients. Building relationships with their clients and sharing their stories is integral to their work. Their initial business uh, focused on wedding videography. However, as many of us did, they had to pivot their business during the to business model during the pandemic, but they didn't give up. In fact, they found something they are truly passionate about, which is serving local businesses and nonprofit organizations with captivating and storytelling videography. Since joining the Palos Verdes Peninsula Chamber of Commerce, they have collaborated with over 10 new professionals and organizations forging lasting working relationships. Let me tell you a little story. So the other day, my amazing wife, Jessica, hit me with a big question. What are you most grateful for this year? There we were, my elbow deep in edits, and her conquering a mountain of laundry. So grateful? I glanced at my towering to-do list and thought, do I have time for this? But then I hit a pause took a breath and realized that in the chaos of work and life, there is a lot to be thankful for, isn't it? I mean, look at me now, standing here receiving an award. Hi everyone, I'm David Lin, the co-founder of the Forefront Media. First, I would like to extend my gratitude to the Palos Verdes Chamber of Commerce for bestowing upon me this honor. This award isn't just a shiny trophy. It's a nod to my journey and the awesome people who have been part of it. To our fabulous clients, you are the real MVPs. Thank you so much for trusting the Forefront Media and being the wind beneath our wings. Working with you has been a blessing. And this award is as much yours as it is ours. So let's keep, it, let's keep the success train rolling. A special thank you to my fantastic team. You are the heart and soul of this operation. Your talent and dedication are the secret sauce to our success. Leading this crew is a privilege, and I'm stoked about the incredible things we will continue to achieve together. And big love to my wife, my daughter, the unsung heroes behind the scenes, and to Jeff and Sarah, my in-laws, who have had our backs from day one, especially when it comes to babysitting duties. <laughs> And a high five to the big man up there for creating this wild ride we call life. And a quick shout out to ChatGPT for sprinkling this magic on this speech. <laughs> Thanks a million to Eileen, the rock star, and the board members of Palos Verdes Chamber of Commerce, and everyone who made this event happen your incredible honor and the chance to spill my heartfelt gratitude mean the world to me. Cheers to more memories, victories, lessons, and epic moments ahead. Thank you, everyone. Well, good evening. And first to start this off, I want to first give a really big uh, congratulations to Julia. As we go way back, way back, and I'm going to probably show our age, uh, but at least 50 years. We used to uh, live right next to each other, probably about a stone's throw from each other's house. So congratulations. Um, it is an honor and a privilege uh, to present the Nonprofit of uh, Year Award to uh, this year's recipient. Founded in 1937 as a single club site, the Boys and Girls Club of the Los Angeles Harbor uh, has expanded across the South Bay to serve over 2,800 
students per day at 23 sites. Committed to pro providing support, guidance, mentor mentorship to young people in the communities that need it the most, the Boys and Girls Club offers an extensive range of programs such as the, in the arts, athletics, and academics to students from elementary to high school. Their highly acclaimed college-bound program is a su success story on its own. <coughs> Building on its foundation, they've added career pathway programs and a newly established workforce center to serve adult, young adults ages 18 to 24. With a mission to enable young people to reach their full potential as productive, caring, and responsible citizens. When I did the interview, I didn't think I was gonna to have to speak tonight. Um, so I don't have any notes. Um, but I do wanna do a, a quick shout out to the people that really make this happen. To our board members over at table number five, please give them a great round of applause. They're the ones that really lead our organization. You know, um, I mentioned it in the interview, um, our young people have the same dedication, the same intellect, uh, the same drive, the same hopes that um, children that live in Palos Verdes and on the hill, what they too often don't have is the opportunity. And our goal at the Boys and Girls Club is to provide that opportunity with the comprehensive programming, with the pathways to success, with the focus on teens, because in our communities too often we don't work with teens. We have preschools, we have elementary programs, we have middle school. And usually when you get to high school, we forget about our teens and we say, let's hope they get to that 21 and 22 year old that we can start dealing with them again. But um, when I became the executive director, I told the board, we have to make teens our priority, because if you just work with elementary and middle school kids, you've built the bridge two thirds of the way. You need to work with high school kids if you're gonna give a future life of quality. Ideas are great, but opportunity comes with people who invest in these young people. I cannot thank enough the businesses and the individuals the um, service organizations from Palos Verdes and the Hill that have invested in our young people for so many years. Our kids live in the shadow of the Hill, but the people up here are the ones that are making the opportunity that gives them a, a chance, a chance at a better life. So I wanna thank the Palos Verdes Chamber of Commerce I want to thank all of you that have supported our young people and given them that opportunity to a better life. Our young people don't need a handout. They just need a helping hand. God bless you all. Hope you have a fantastic Thanksgiving and holiday and um, continue to invest in the nonprofits that serve our youth and families. They truly need your support. Thank you once again. So last year, the Chamber honored entrepreneur, volunteer, and all-around creative genius Derek Gable as our 2022 Citizen of the Year. Derek is on a family cruise at the moment, but he sends his regards to everyone here tonight, and especially to this year's Citizen of the Year, Julia Parton. I think he called you yesterday, right? Yeah. But we have, we're so excited because we have here to present the 2023 Citizen of the Year Award is Lily Amini, the General Manager of Trump National Golf Club. Lily was honored last year, for those of you who are here, with the Chamber's prestigious Matt Bruning Business Leadership Award. Lily's integrity, work ethic, loyalty, commitment to excellence, and yes, her sense of humor, make her an inspiration to her staff, her colleagues, and to all of us who are fortunate enough to know her and work with her. So here to present the Citizen of the Year Award is Ms. Lily Amini. I 
can't be more honored than to be here tonight to present you with this award. I'm also very honored to be around so many amazing business leaders tonight, powerhouses in our community, each and every one of you. But this one right here is a powerhouse on her own. So I'm so happy to be able to be up here presenting this to you. The Chamber Citizen of the Year Award honors individuals who exemplify community achievement, engagement, and philanthropic service. This year's honoree, Julia Parton, is an inspiration to us all. A lifelong Peninsula resident, Julia told us that one of her fondest memories was her first volunteer opportunity when she was still in high school. Julia volunteered at Little Company of Mary Hospital working in the pediatric department rocking babies or playing with young children, in her words, it was the best volunteer job. That first experience defines the outstanding citizen who we honor here tonight. Julia is the quintessential volunteer. Everything she does, and she does a lot, comes from a place of true and humble compassion. Her motivation is purely to serve, to help others, and to make the world a better place. Julia tells us that people will often say to her, you do too much, and she typically doesn't respond, which is smart. <laughs> Whenever she feels she can make a difference, no matter how big or how little, she will step up and help. Whether it's collecting auction items, donating diapers, packing meals, or picking up trash at the PV Street Fair, Julia said it's all important and needs to be done. When Julia sits on a board or is a member of any organization, she just doesn't stand by. She rolls up her sleeves and gets things done. The number of organizations and causes that Julia has served is too long to list. But you can tell, Julia, by the outpouring of support from people who are here tonight, how much you are respected and loved. Here are some of the many organizations you have served as a board or committee member, and all of you guys out there, feel free to cheer, okay? So, in no particular order, we're gonna start with the Salvation Army, Crestmont College for Officer Training. Jim, let's hear it. Okay. Silver Spur Little League, I don't know if anyone's here, but batter up, all right? The Health Care and Elder Law Programs, help, Britt. Palos Verdes Estates Foundation. Palos Verdes Arts Center. Debbie, there you go. Liz, the Palos Verdes Peninsula Coordinating Council. Fran is here. The Palos Verdes Peninsula Association of Realtors. I know Tony and Betty are here. Torrance Police Foundation. The Palos Verdes Junior Women's Club. Jane, let's hear it. Peninsula Seniors, Margie. The Schweitzer Learning Center. The Cancer Support Community. I know we have three ladies from that. Thank you. Uh, Palos Verdes Peninsula High School Athletic Booster Club. Randy, you're here, right? Um, that Randy Hada, so there you go. The Palos Verdes Peninsula Rotary Club. Okay, three tables. And most certainly, of course, the Palos Verdes Peninsula Chamber of Commerce. That's all of you. <laughs> when we asked the chamber members to describe Julia, the answers we got included humble, gets things done, always willing to say yes and help out, fun-loving, caring, a connector, dedicated, and selfless. As the announcement of Julia's selection as Citizen of the Year spread throughout the community, the response from literally everyone was overwhelming excitement and support for this well-deserved recognition. Julia, you are the definition of community. Okay, we've heard great speeches, so I think we're good. So thank you, everyone. Have a good night. No, I but as past chair, just like Robert, um, I'm going to go a little bit off script and get my speech done, because I have a lot of people to thank. And I know it's a school night, so I'm going to go really quick. First, I do want to thank Lily for hosting us tonight. And with all the organizations that I help out, She's the first one I reach out to for an auction item, and I've never had a no. So I want to thank you so much. And I apologize. I'm going to read so I don't go off script so I can get through this, but I do want to thank quite a few people. So my sincere thanks to the chamber board, 
board members, uh, to the Citizen of the Year Committee. Thank you so much for this amazing honor. Um, my congratulations to all that are honored tonight, so very well deserved. Uh, thank you for all the great work that you all do. I am the third Malaga Bank employee to receive the Citizen of the Year Award. Eric Allen, our first president and CEO, and Debbie Richardson, who's here tonight. <laughs> Two remarkable community, community leaders. This is a true testament of the bank's strong community culture and involvement. There is no denying that Malaga Bank is truly the community's bank. I have many to thank in only a few minutes, so I will work quickly. First off, to Malaga Bank's President and CEO, Randy Bowers, and CFO, Yasna Penich. I would like to, thank you. I would like to acknowledge and highlight the importance of your leadership in fostering a culture of community involvement and for your support you offer daily. I am in a great workplace, I am a great, I am in a great place working under your leadership. So thank you. <laughs> to my Malaga Bank team, Anna, Andrea, Helen, Sasha, Christina, and Maureen. Please know I love working with you all, and you are all the reason I work so hard. I want us to shine. I am honored to be part of your team. To my Rotary family, <laughs> I cannot thank you all enough for being here tonight to support. I so appreciate your kindness and love. I really can't express how touched I am that you all are here to celebrate with me. I want you all to know I appreciate and love you all very much. We believe in service above self and are truly people of action, and you have shown that this evening. Thank you. Can I get a water? Sorry, I'm a little overwhelmed. This is <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, that's okay, I'll put it here. Um, to my family, I am just thrilled that you are here to help me celebrate tonight. To my sister, Laura, and my brother-in-law, Brian, thank you for being with me tonight. Thank you for letting me know you are proud of me. Sorry, Laura, don't look at me. <laughs> I'm missing a brother and sister in Arizona, but I'm so happy my sister, Laura, is here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for being a, such a supportive and understanding sister. You carried a heavy load during our family's losses, and I learned much from you. You stepped up and took charge to care of our Nana and my father, our father. That's what us partners do. We take charge and get it done. <sighs> okay, now we can smile a little bit. <laughs> I am so sorry. This is not how I planned it to go. <sighs> okay, to my best friend and partner in crime, Tammy, who I met playing softball many, many, many years ago. Thank you for always being there for me, and I can't thank you enough for supporting me with all my projects and volunteering with me. We have had a great journey, a, drain, a journey that will continue. I am so happy that you're here tonight to help celebrate. As many of you know, my mom and dad have both passed. My parents played a pivotal role in shaping my dedication to making a difference with compassion and community service. I know they are very, both of them are very proud of me. A benefit of having such a dear friend like Tammy is that you're not just friends, but you become family. And lucky for me, I gained a second set of parents, Dorothy and George Bouse here tonight. Um, I am so happy you're here tonight and thank you for being such great parents to me. To my boys who flew in today, Edward and James, thrilled beyond belief you are here. Thank you for your support, understanding, and being patient with me while I volunteered so many years. Family always came first, but I know at times I had to delay family activities to complete a commitment. Thank you for volunteering with me as well. 
I hope that you see it doesn't take much to help others and that you continue with serving others in your adult lives. I love you both very much. To my husband, who has sacrificed the most, I probably need to apologize to you. <laughs> All those evenings and weekends leaving you behind so that I could help somewhere. You are so very understanding and I am forever grateful. You know I am gone a lot when your husband asks each morning as you head out to work, are you home tonight? <laughs> your love and support mean the world to me and thank you for being right there with me, volunteering or accompanying me with so many, to so many events. I could not have done this without you. You deserve this award just as much as I do. I love you very much. I wish uh, I could thank all of you individually, but I don't have an hour, unless I do. No, no. Just <laughs> I believe that, um, this is how it would take me. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to pass that. Uh, please know that all of you mean the world to me. There are representatives here from boards that I sit on that we kind of went through, but I do want to thank them. Uh, PVE Foundation, thank you so much for being here. Toberman Neighborhood Center, Torrance Police Foundation, Peninsula Seniors, PV Juniors, Coordinating Council, Freedom for You, uh, past board co-chairs I worked with, employers I worked for, and special, special ladies that fill a table of 10. Thank you so much for being here and support my honor I so appreciate the friendship and feel extremely blessed. Conclu to conclude, for those that know me, I'm passionate about helping, always offering a hand. For those that know me, I rarely say no. I may tell you I can't give you 100%, but I'll give you as much as I can. For those that know me, a handshake is great, but a hug is better. For those that know me, I look for ways to support or connect people or organizations to make a difference. What you may not know about me and what keeps me up at night is believing I haven't done enough. How can I do more? How am I going to get this all done? And letting somebody down. I love to be of help and I can honestly say that benefits the benefits completely outweigh the time spent assisting others. I have met some great mentors and incredible friends through volunteering. In closing, I want to share a quick story. I attended a chamber lunch, shocking, <laughs> a couple months back and sat next to a pastor from a local San Pedro church. He, we started to chat and I brought up baseball. Shocker. <laughs> he was a Dodger fan. I'm a Padre fan. All right. We got past that and the conversation continued. He's now a friend and a client. Recently, he gave an invocation that included a couple verses from a hymn that really moved me. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God, God hath done. Count, counting my blessings one by one, that would be each and every one of you. Wishing you all a very happy Thanksgiving. Thank you very much. I'll see you on December 2nd at the parade. And that will do it for today's show. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Maria Soreo, and we'll see you next time around the peninsula.